let's create a pipeline for test case execution. For that, we need to open Jenkins first. Let's do that. Let's wait for a moment till we log in. To create a pipeline, we click on new item. Let's provide a name. pipeline for ETL testing. Let's click, click on pipeline, then OK. Let's provide description something like creating pipeline for test case execution, ETL tests are covered, and then let's write SCM is GitHub. We need to create a pipeline. So let's click here, pipeline script from SCM. SCM will be git. We need to provide repository. Let's open GitHub. I have created a repository for ETL testing. Here I have used SQLite for database. Let's click on code. We will get the repository of GitHub. We'll provide that here. <coughs> Credentials not required because this is a public GitHub repository. Branch is to the branch and then a script path where we are going to write from where we are going to execute our test case scripts that is Jenkins file. I have created a Jenkins file. Here is it. Now here I have written bat. This is for running the batch command. Our Jenkins is configured on Windows. So batch command running is, you know, more convenient. And this is the command with which we run our test cases. So the test cases are created on PyTest. So this is the command with which it will identify all the test cases and it will run it. Now to get this syntax, we can go back here. If you choose pipeline script, you will get sample pipeline. This is something like this. It is the same, but here I have just copied it from here and pasted it here. I have just changed the stage to running tests and in steps instead of echo, here you have echo. Here we are running batch command with this command. That's the only difference that I have made with my Jenkins file. Rest is same. Let's have a look at test case. 
first let's look, look how I I have set up the SQLite database you just have to import it simply and you have to give a variable name something like this to initialize the connection and then give this DB name if it is not present it will create if it is already present it will do nothing and then we are creating a cursor and then we are good to go our database is complete now we need to use cur.execute cur is cursor execute and then inside this we just have to provide our all the queries like for example here i have written the query to create a table cells and below that i have inserted the values now here to run one query you just need to write dot execute but if you are running multiple lines you just need to include execute script one table and i have just written to see the result then for next table and their data next table data next table data so few tables I have created. This is a public repository. You can also have a look at it. After that, I have created a definition to create uh, to run SQL query. I have just used this. This is the name that I have given to run the SQL query. The SQL query that we want to run, we need to pass it here, and then we are we are executing, and then we are fetching all data. I am returning it. This is the database setup along with data. Here are the test cases that I have created using PyTest. First, I have uh, imported everything from data, data setup uh, file, so that we can have data and table created along with data, of course. So, here I have created few tests that is availability of tables presence of record in tables, duplicate record check, population of particular column, same here for other column, different column population, and then this is the column of, uh, sorry, population of table for whole data. So this is the test case that I have created already. Let's go to Jenkins file, which we have already discussed. This is and that's it. So again, we'll have to make it something like this. We are running it from Git repository we had already put. This is the repository. And then we just need to click save. Once it is saved, let's click on build now and then job will start. Our pipeline will start running. So it has started running. You can click on it to check the status. And this is in progress. Let's wait for some time till the run is complete. There are logs created. So the command that we had 
given in the Jenkins file has been executed. Test session starts and 32 test cases were included, all passed. And the, and the pipeline has run successfully with all the all the logs. And here it is with the correct with the green button that it is successful.